Hello everyone, welcome to the Math Mostar, where we explore the exciting world of Math Olympiad and beyond. This is Dikesh here. Today in this video, we have a question of geometry, where it is given that the length of line segment AM is 4 units and the length of line segment BM is 6 units. Then we have to find the radius of this given semi-circle. So let's drive into the question and find the solution of this question. So before solving this question, I will make you sure that if we have a circle like this, okay, and another circle like this one, then if I draw tangent about this point, and then if I draw a line here, which is perpendicular to this tangent, then this line passes through the center of this circle as well as the center of this circle. Okay, so be clear that if if any line which is perpendicular to this tangent point then the line drawn perpendicular to this tangent line is always passes through the center of this circle as well as the bigger circle okay so here we are going to use this concept in our question so here i am going to suppose suppose the center of semicircle is o so let this point is our radius of center point of this semicircle then we can join the point this as well as this point and this point is our center of this circle and let be this point as q and this point as p okay then you can join this from this point up to this point okay and we can join this point to here this point then we can know that we are going to use this concept here so the line drawn to this as you see that this circle and this circle having the same point this one and if i draw a line so this line will passes through the center of this circle as well as the center of this circle so i'm drawing the line here by this way okay then we are going to suppose that let radius of a smaller circle a smaller circle as r1 and you can see that r1 is the radius of this small circle and you can see that r1 is also this one isn't it and we can also draw a line here which is perpendicular to the this line okay and we can also draw a line here which is perpendicular to this ab line okay so this one r1 is here you can see that if I draw a line here then this line is equal to the this line also and this line is also the radius of this smaller circle so I can write r1 as am okay similarly then we are going to let the radius of bigger circle as r2 okay and here you can see that r2 is also if i draw a line here then this line is the radius of this small bigger circle and this r2 is also equals to this as well as this line okay so i am writing here r2 is equals to bm isn't it and then radius of semicircle as r okay and here assume that this point is our x and this point is our y then here you can see that o y okay o y this is the radius of this semicircle so i can write here o y as capital r okay similarly o y sorry q y q y here you can see that this is r2 it means that this length is also q y is also the radius of this small bigger circle so i can write here q y as r2 and from here o q that is the length of this line o q is equals to the length of o y minus q y so i can write here o q as o y minus q y where o y is our r and q y is our r2 and you know that 
the length of R2, as you see that the length of R2 is Bm and Bm, the length of Bm is 6 unit. So I can write here R minus 6, isn't it? So we have another, we are going to look on this a small circle. So here I can write here Ox as here you can see that Ox is also the radius of this semicircle. So you can write here Ox as capital R, okay, then Px. Here you can see that Px is the radius of this semicircle. So you can write here a smaller r, r1, and from here we can similarly find the value of op as ox minus px and ox is our capital r and px is our r1 and r minus we have the value of r1 here you can see that r1 is similar to the length of am and we have the value of am as 4 unit so you can write here r1 r minus 4 okay then here we can assume that the length between o and b is x okay then the length of om m o is 6 minus x isn't it here we have a line m and b okay so sorry b which has the length 6 unit and here we have assumed the point o then if i assume the length between b o and x then the length between m o is 6 minus x okay then we are going to look on the triangle O Q B. So here we have a triangle O Q B O Q B. So I can draw a triangle here where we have a triangle O Q B. This is our O, this is our Q, this is our B. And we have the side length as this is our X. Okay. And O Q here we have find here O Q as R minus 6. And Q B that is equals to radius of bigger circle here you can see that qb is the radius of this bigger circle okay so you can write here oq qb is our 6 unit okay so according to pythagoras theorem the sum of this square plus this square is equals to the square of this value so here we can write here x power 2 plus 6 power 2 is equals to r minus 6 whole power 2 so here x power 2 plus 36 equals to this one in the form of a minus b whole power 2 so you can apply that formula here that is a power 2 minus 2 times of a b so 2 times r into 6 it is 12 r plus b power 2 that is 6 power 2 it is 36 and here we can cancel 36 and 36 so here we have the value of x power 2 that is r power 2 minus 12 r and we can also find x equals to the square root of r power 2 minus 12 r so this is about the value of x and x power 2 then we are going to look on the triangle o p a so here we can see that our triangle o p a here is our o p and a so you can draw a triangle here we have a triangle like this this is our o this is our p this is our a this is our right angle triangle and we have the value of so from here we can find the value of AO that is here the length of AO is AM plus MO and the length of AM is 4 so here AO is equals to AM plus MO and the length of AM is 4 and the length of MO is 6 minus X that is equals to 10 minus X so you can write here 10 minus X and here the length of PO we can already find here the length of PO OP is R minus 4. So we can write here R minus 4. And the length of PA, here you can see that the length of PA is the radius of this small circle. So we can write here R1 and we can find this value in terms of R. So here we have the value of N. As you know that this radius is also equal to this R1 and the R1 is equal to the length of AM. So we can write here units okay then we are using here Pythagoras theorem that is the length of the square of this length plus the square of this this length is equals to the square of this length that is this is called the hypotenuse of this circle sorry 
right angle triangle so here 4 power 2 plus 10 minus x power all 2 equals to r minus 4 power all 2 so 4 power 2 it is 16 plus it is in the form of a minus b whole power 2 so a power 2 it is 100 minus 2 times of 10 times x it is 20x plus x power 2 equals to r minus 4 it is again in the form of a minus b whole power 2 so r power 2 minus 2 times of r times 4 it is 8r plus 4 power 2 it is 16 so here we can cancel 16 and 16 having the same sign okay then here it is 100r sorry 100 minus as you know that the value of x we have found in the previous equation that is x is equals to the square root of r power 2 minus 12r so you can put here 20 times square root of r power 2 minus 12r and the value of x power 2 here r power 2 minus 12r so you can put here r power 2 minus 12r equals to r power 2 minus 8r then we can solve this question to find the value of r okay so here it is 100 minus 20 times the square root of r minus 12r we can move this all this term so here you can see that it is r power 2 r power 2 and we can cancel this r power 2 and r power 2 and minus 12r it is so minus 12r plus 8r equals to 0 then we can move this term on the right side so 100 minus it is 4r equals to 20 times square root of r power 2 minus 12r and here we can divide by 4 on both sides so 4 times it is 5 and here it is equals to 25 minus r equals to 5 times square root of r power 2 minus 12r then we can squaring on both sides to remove this square root so this one in the form of a power 2 minus b power a minus b whole power 2 that is a power 2 it is 625 minus 2 times of 25 times r it is 50r plus r power 2 equals to 5 times 5 power 2 it is 25 times the square root will get cancelled so r power 2 minus 12r so this value 625 r here we can move this term on the right side so it is minus 50 r so 25 times 12 it is 300 r and it is negative when it comes on the right side it will become positive 300 r and r power 2 and it is 25 r so it is plus r power 2 minus 25 r power 2 equals to 0 so this value will become it is not r okay so 625 minus it is plus 250 r here it is 24 r power 2 equals to 0 so you can move all this term on the right side and also we can take minus common so it will become 24 r power 2 minus 250 r and minus 625 equals to 0 here we can take minus common and we can move that minus on the right side okay so here you can see that this is our quadratic equation and if i solve this then we have to find the value of this value here we can say that this one in the form of ar plus br so that the sum of a plus b must be equals to here the sum of a plus b must be equals to minus 250 and the product of a times b it is must be equals to 24 that is this value times minus this value 625 okay so here 24 it can be written as we can move this minus on the front okay so 24 it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 2 times 2 it is 4 times 2 right times 3 it is 24 and 625 it is the square of 25 times 25 so here if i multiply this three number and this one that is 2 times 2 it is 4 times 3 12 and times 25 it is 300 and 2 times 50 2 times 50 it is 2 times 25 it is 50 and if i put here negative and this one plus sign and then multiplication of this value will give the value of 24 times 625 and the addition 
and the sub addition of these two value that is minus 300 plus 50 it gives the minus 250 which is equal to the uh, upper value so here we can write 24 r power 2 minus minus 300 r plus 50 r minus 625 equals to 0 here we can take 24 sorry we can take 12 r common then we are remaining with 2 r minus 25 plus here we can, can take 25 common then we are remaining with 2 r minus 25 equals to 0 here you can see that 2 r minus 25 and 2 r minus 25 is the common so we can take 25 and we are remaining with 12 r plus 25 equals to 0 so here either 2 r minus 25 equals to 0 or 12 r plus 25 equals to 0 so from here we can say that 2 r equals to 25 and the value of r equals to 25 by 2 so this is our radius of the semicircle or in decimal form it is equals to r equals to 12.5 so this is our radius of the semicircle and from this equation 12 r is equals to negative 25 and which is not possible okay because the radius it must be in the positive value not in the negative value so this case is not possible okay so we have the only one answer of radius that is r equals to 25 by 2 or in decimal form 12.5 which is our final answer of this question hope you understand this question clearly if you have any doubts then please let me know in the comment section and keep practicing more questions like this to sharpen your math olympiad skills thanks for watching if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend don't forget to subscribe for more math content and we will see you in the next video bye bye